Nazi. Anyway, what's going on, party people? Your boy I Matt here with daily dose for y'all. We're doing questions today because wifey messed up and didn't vlog much. So you I, didn't vlog. Don't blame me. You did you vlog much? I did vlog. I vlogged more than you. Okay, but did you vlog much though? Yeah, much you, more than you. That's not. That wasn't a question. That so that's like answer. that's like speeding. That's like the speed limit's thirty. And I'm going 60, but you're going 35. And you're like, officer, he's speeding more. Yeah, but you're still speeding. So you deserve a ticket. No. I didn't say, I said you didn't vlog much. And you didn't vlog much. You didn't vlog much. I didn't either, but okay. So say that. I don't know. I just said you didn't vlog much. No, because it's not just my that, But that's the truth. Fault. But it's the truth. But it's not my fault. It's the truth, That's though. not the reason. It is. You're supposed it's to vlog the, more. We've already had this conversation. True. I did vlog more than you. You didn't vlog at all. No, you're supposed to vlog enough. And then you deleted all the vlogs for tomorrow. So, whose fault is that? Yours. Prove it. Um, You're holding my phone with an empty camera right now that wasn't empty before you touched it. Prove that I'm the one that deleted it. I hate you. Anyway. So, yeah, tomorrow we're going to have to do another questions video or we'll do the wifey gets whooped in computer games daily dose episodes so um yeah let's let's let let's let's go through these questions really quick just because my phone's about to die wifey's phone's about to die i've never done the questions like this like on my phone but i figured it would be easier well no I just didn't feel like setting up the webcam and everything. So this is Wednesday night. I'm doing this. I'm trying to get daily dosh up in time. And remember, for those of you guys that have been missing the episodes, you got to follow me on Twitter because I've been tweeting out episodes. We ain't been missing episodes of Daily Dose. I just have them unlisted. What? You, you're talking to the people that wouldn't be watching this video. How are you going to tell the people that... They need to follow your Twitter, and that's the only how this video is up. It's on Twitter. They're not going to know that. Oh. Like, this isn't, you know what I mean? Like, it's not going on the channel. So it's like, hey, well, no, okay. Well, follow let me my say Twitter this. so you can see this video. Well, let me say, my bad. You need to check Twitter. You need to check Twitter. Because I got people that follow me that's been tweeting me, like, where's Daily Dose? I had one guy, like, Oh, congratulations on making it 112 episodes. But it's like, now you're done. Oh, I saw that. So if you're on Twitter and you caught this episode, what I'm saying is there's been two other ones before this. Yeah. But yeah. If you're not... So yeah, not follow me on Twitter. Wifey was right. <laughs> but you're still dumb, though. You're dumb. Not as dumb as you. You are dumb. You deleted everything out of my camera. What's nine times nine? Your butt. <laughs> 81. What's nine times six? Stop asking me questions. 54. See, I'm not as dumb as you. Okay. Hey, yo, I'm mad. What's up? Questions you ask. Okay, ask me multiplication. I'm not going to ask you anything. Because you know I'm smart. No. Hey, I'm mad. Hey, yo, I'm mad. What's up? I just wanted to say that I love watching your videos on Madden. I think they are hilarious and entertaining. I think it's amazing watching you play and watching you do like auction block. I'm sending this email because I have noticed that you have stopped playing FIFA 15. And I was wondering if you were going to start playing that again because I love watching that along with Mutt. Thank you for reading this email. Sincerely, your number one fan, Gabe. Good good question, Gabe. I kind of This is an email back from November. I kind of touched on this in a recent video, um, and the answer is I don't know. It's not a priority no more. Um, there's a chance it could come back, but there's probably a bigger chance that it won't. We'll see. It just wasn't getting it wasn't getting supported enough for me to prioritize it. My hands getting tired holding this up. Garrett. Hey, Mav, I'm 16 right now, and I'm hoping in the... F what? Just said it. All right, go ahead. I'll be quiet. Whatever, giggling randomly. 
Hey, Mav, I'm 16 right now, and I'm hoping in the future I'm either doing YouTube or playing basketball. What in D1 made you lose love for the game? Should I do both at the same time or wait on YouTube to see if basketball works out? Love your videos. I hope the fam is doing great. Garrett. Um, for me, what made me lose love, and I'm thinking in the context of what you're asking, is nothing like crazy. There wasn't like no, you know. Of course, there was politics to it. Coaches can treat you like crap sometimes. Um, I mean, there's a lot of politics in it because there's a lot of money. Anything where, where there's a lot of money in it, there's a lot of politics in it. So, um, what I mean by politics, it's just not as simple as you would think, like, the best players play. Um, and then, you know, I, I really don't think it was none of that. I just think it was God, like, touching my heart, or not touching my heart, just moving me in a different direction because it was weird how it happened you know basketball was something i sacrificed and worked hard for for years and then to just not want to go that direction anymore was crazy so i don't know i do believe god to kind of move you in a different direction got to harden your heart for certain things and move you away from different things do i know for sure that that's what happened no um i know that you know, it wasn't like it, anything was like too hard or, you know, I was mad because I didn't play or there was nothing like that. So I don't know. I, I don't fully understand. I don't know if I ever will. Um, Just the more I think about it, though, I think it was just because but there there were things like the politics and and it really does become your life. And it was just something where I was like, man, now that I got this. I don't want to do this for not the rest of my life, but for the next however many years. Because at first I thought I wanted to be in the NBA. So um, I don't really have nothing that would scare you away from it or be like, watch out for this. Because if I didn't have that shift in my heart, I could have dealt with the politics. Like it's not, it's just life, I, you know, and I'm very proactive and and I can, I can function in different scenarios. So I would have been all right with that. Um, I would have figured out how to play the game and, you know, the po the political game and, and make things happen. You know, just a constant practice and and stuff like that, like, wouldn't have been an issue. I, just, I don't know. It was just something was moved in a different direction. As far as which one you should do, that's tough. I think there's definitely an expiration date on an athlete and especially playing college basketball. Um, and I'm you know, trying to go into the pros. There's an expiration date on that, so you can't necessarily come back to that at a later time like you could YouTube. So for that reason, it might make sense to go with basketball first. But then it also comes down to which do you love more? If you just really want to make YouTube happen, then make that happen. But if it's somewhat equal, just for the reason that you can't, you know, play basketball forever. At a high level, I would I would go for the basketball first. All right, let's fly. Keep flying through these. One or two more, depending on how big they are. Zach. Zach says, "What's good, Mav? Get about my face, y'all. Back up." Uh. First, I think it is important to say thank you for your dedication to the YouTube community. It's always a great feeling when I finally get to wind down and am able to look at your channel and see new videos. I just found out about your videos recently around when Madden 15 released. As a Jewish college student living in Boca Raton, Boca Rat Raton, you know where that is, man? Where? Oh no, I'm thinking of something else. I was gonna say Florida. I think it is, might, maybe. Boca Raton. How do you say it? Raton. I think it's Raton, and I'm, I'm pretty sure it's in Florida. Boca Raton. I've been trapped in a bubble when it comes to religion. The reason I say you're right, because at the beginning it says Zach from South Florida. Oh. Um. Yeah. 
I've been trapped in a bubble when it comes to religion. However, I sometimes feel that my personal beliefs through my experiences and moral conscience have shrouded my ability to 110% allow myself to put trust in something I just have to believe in. Have you ever dealt with the time in your life when religion wasn't always there for you to turn to? And if so, how did you find your way back into that ability to trust again? By the way, I was born in Philly and my dad did radio for the birds before we moved to do radio for the dolphins. Bleed Green, Zach from South Florida. Sent from a Windows, sent from Windows Mail. Whatever that is. Shout out to Zach. Okay. Um, have I ever, so from what I gathered is you have your religion, right? And you're told to believe this. But because of your personal experiences, and you said your moral conscience, you, I guess what it contradicts what you're told to believe. Well, here's my thing. I don't know where you get your moral conscience from without your religion. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. Like, it, as a Christian, I know where I get my morality from. You know what I mean? But, well, just because, you know, the Bible says God writes it on. I believe God writes. I, I don't believe you have to be a Christian to know morality because I think God writes it on our hearts as humans. But. But that's from the Bible, you know what I mean? So, like, I don't know where you would get and how you would justify morality. Because I don't know where you get an objective morality from if it wasn't for, you know what I mean? So I don't see how you would get one that was outside of your faith. You know, hmm? Let me ask you if there's ever been a time where you weren't able to trust in your religion and how did you get past that mm-hmm okay well yeah but I'm just breaking down what he said oh, okay so I'm gonna tell wife to go to sleep <laughs> I was so don't worry about my asking me questions don't worry about my e so don't don't y'all tell her don't worry about the emails man I've got this tell her man I've got this go ahead tell her what up you hear them good night man I've got this um man. Stay over here. So, so yeah, so that would be a good question there for you, but, but okay, so your experience is, is just contradicting, it's, it's, I don't know, you, you know, you feel like you're having some contradictions with what you're told to believe. Have I ever had that? No. But I have had a, 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 what was that the same? I don't know. I have had a phase where I was like really questioning. Like I had a lot of, I was asking just deeper questions, which I've kind of always been like this. I used to go to Bible studies, right? And the Bible study would have a format. There would be like pastors there. And it's like, all right, in this Bible study, we're going to talk about A, B, C, and D. And I'd be there just shattering the, the, uh, the little format. And I'm asking deep questions, like questions where they're like, Ninja, we're going to have to get back to you. Like, I've always been deep with it. And so, I had a phase, and I'm, you know, I'm still, there's always new questions that come up, but I was just asking them, like, the, like really deep questions and stuff that, stuff that you might have, you might, you might be talking about with your experiences that you've gone through, you know what I mean? So, the questions, like, you know, does the Bible contradict itself here or here or here, right? Um, does, if there is a God, how is it possible that there's little hungry kids in Africa? And how do all these bad things happen? How do, how do people like Hitler do the things that they do if there's a God? Um, you know, why is all, why is there all this evil? Um... Why is there a hell? Why doesn't God just 
make us all happy and and love each other and and eat skittles all day and we all just go to heaven um you know what i mean and then of course i can't think of all of them but you know what i mean um and then you know people have experiences too that i've never really had this but they knew someone in the church that was that hurt them really bad and they're like wow that person's supposed to be a christian or that person was religious and look what they did um you know there's all those you know i ask those deep questions and I really start to find those answers because a lot of people will just ask them and they'll feel some sort of way about them and they'll be like man that doesn't sit right with me but they'll never search for answers and I think that's important for all you guys I mean it'd be impossible for me to um sit here and think of every single question that someone could have or that you guys have ever had and honestly I think too it wouldn't even it shouldn't be like that it shouldn't be that you have this deep burning question and you even you I think you should really dig deep to try and find that answer on your own you know what I mean because I'm sure there's some of you guys that are watching it's like oh my lord man you need to shut up with this Christianity stuff because this 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 or why this if if God and Jesus that you talk about is so dope then why this or how come this happened in my life I think you should try and find answers for it you know what I mean? Because you're obviously asking the question. I think you should find answers for it. So um, I went through a phase like that. And then now I'm to the point where I'm not afraid um, to, to search for answers. So I think that was the closest that I went. Because there's some atheists that are really smart. And they have some really good questions. And I came across some questions mainly on my own research. Not necessarily someone like bringing them to me. Like, well, Dion. What do you think of this? And I was like, oh, crap. I was stumped. I was just digging deeper. And I found other people that had questions. And a lot of them were from atheists. Um, and they'd be like, yo, well, blah, blah, blah. Or blah, blah, blah. And I was like, that is a really good question, huh? What What is the answer to that? You know what I mean? And so I guess that was the biggest phase I've had as far as, like, questioning. Dang, did I? I'm rambling. What was the question? Um... Yeah, so did I ever have a point where the religion wasn't there for me? And again, you know, I believe more so in like a relationship with God. And, and you know, as you really get into the Bible, it's not just like a, it's really not about, it's not really not about these man-made religions that you see. There's just a set of rules, man-made rules to follow. Um, um, so, yeah, I really believe that, you know, when you really get into the Bible, it's more about a relationship with God. Um, not saying there's no accountability and there's not, um, you know, do's and don'ts, but it just more comes, it, it, the obedience more so stems from a relationship, but y'all have heard me talk about that a lot, so, um, see, I never had a place where I didn't feel like religion was there, there for, wasn't there for me to turn to, um, because I don't think it's possible for it not to be there. And now when we're talking about Christianity. And a lot of people ask like, well, what is so unique about Christianity? Or why, man, if you're a Christian, what makes you right and everyone else wrong, right? Well, one thing that's, a, again, that goes into the questions. And you should really dig deeper into that. But... You know, with all the other religions, we see man trying to work its way up to God. That's what it's about. The man just trying to work its way up and get into heaven. But with Christianity, the, the uniqueness of it and what I think is so awesome is it's God working its way to man. And you actually see God um, come to earth as a man in Jesus, send his son and die for us. And extend that grace. And that's awesome. That's awesome. So it's not us just working our way up. And and, and trying to be holy. And, and, and do these different things. And to make it to God. It is just God reaching out and, and, and getting us. And that's amazing. And again, I could preach a whole sermon to y'all. But again. Yeah. Oh, crap. Oh, I thought I just ended the video. My butthole almost puckered because I would have had to edit. And I didn't want to edit. Um, so, yeah. But, 
again, if I, I just be playing seeds in these videos, man. I really hope y'all dig deeper and, and, and search a little more. But so yeah, I don't. But so have I ever felt like there's a place or a, a time where I couldn't turn to it? No, because I don't think that's possible. I don't think that's it's not possible. Um, there's a time where we might go through different things and we might make the choice to not receive. Um, the different things provided to us um, by Jesus dying on the cross because God does give us free will and he doesn't make us serve him and he doesn't make us you know do anything so so yeah there, there's times where I might not see the fruits of 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 Christianity in my life, but that would be a personal decision, you know what I mean? Not because it disappeared or it wasn't there or I couldn't count on it. I mean, God's the only thing that I can always count on no matter what that will never let me down. Every single thing in person that else in my life has the ability to let me down and God doesn't. So I don't think that's even possible. Are you listening, man? Mm -hmm. Does that answer make sense? Oh no! Like I'm listening, like right now. Uh, like I heard, like maybe like your last sentence. I don't know what the question was. It's still the same question. <laughs> I think it made sense. This, you're still on the Boca Raton. Yeah, I mean I ramble, but and ha so how did I work my way back? I never had to, but yeah, yeah, but. For someone that kind of feel like they've kind of lost, kind of fell off a little bit with their faith or their walk or whatever, I think you just reestablish that relationship, man. Get in your word, spend time worshiping, um, praying, and uh, just seeking God's will. All right, I think that's it. Any more questions? Um, see if we have a short one. Hey, man, I enjoy it. Last one. Hey, man, I enjoy watching your videos. They're great. Keep up the good work. I was wondering with all this gaming you do, how do you stay in such good shape? God bless, man. This was sent from November. I was probably in better shape in November. If you would have sent from the summer, I'd have been like, yeah, huh? Yeah. But ever since the summer and that email, I've gotten better, better, in better shape. But it's been more of a rounder shape. So... It's a good shape. It's not the shape that I want. It's a good round shape, but so I don't think that really applies right now. But I mean, it's possible. And I'm about to get sexy for the summer. I already told y'all. Y'all already know. But yeah, I mean, just it's just balance, right? It's just you know making sure you find time to go to the gym, which is hard for me, and then eating right, which is the hardest part for me. Um, eating is hands down the hardest thing. Like, and I told y'all in a previous Daily Dose, like, I struggle to eat right because I like eating. I'm addicted to eating. I like greasy, fried, bad food. Like, if it's good for me, I'm like, uh, but that's stupid, though. So, so yeah, but what really helps is my fitness pal. That's a good app. Um, Playing basketball helps because I don't like just running, like, sprints in any, or anything. So just basketball is a really good way to burn fat. Like really almost one of the best ones you can do. Um, if, if you got like injuries or you're worried about hurting yourself, maybe jump roping would be the next best. But like basketball is just great, man. Burn so many calories playing basketball. So yeah, man, make it to the bat, make it to the gym a few times a week. Eat right, straight. Simple as calories in versus calories out, man. But, I mean, obviously I'm not obese. Yet. Yeah. But yeah, as y'all can tell, I'm getting back into the gym. I went to the gym today. Played ball again. Did better than I did Monday. Um, Still got a long ways to go, though. So, anyway, I'm starting to ramble. That's it. Question of the day will be... Um, dang, since we probably won't do one for tomorrow, what did I use when we got home? 
What did I say question of the day was? When is your birthday? Why am I asking you that? Because tomorrow is Lyric's birthday. A little baby girl turning one. That's crazy. I got a three-year-old, a two-year-old, and a one-year-old. Dang. Dang. So, yeah, that's it. I'm about to go upload this daily dose so we can keep this streak going. Appreciate y'all. Y'all are dope. Y'all are awesome. I don't know if I'll tweet it out today. I might not tweet it out till tomorrow, but still. It got uploaded. It was just unlisted. The reason I'm doing these unlisted is so that the last video on my channel is the update video. So it's easy for people when they're like, yo, why are there no videos? Maybe I should watch this last video that says why you no upload videos. You know what I mean? It's just easy for them to get the update. And then once I'm back to posting, I'll make these public again. So yeah, um, question of the day, when is your birthday? My birthday is the 29th. Of April, Wifey's birthday is July 17th, Lorraine's birthday is July 20th, Lavelle's birthday is November 19th, Lyrics is tomorrow, March 5th, Trent's is April 30th. Yeah, that's it. Appreciate y'all rocking with your boy. Y'all be easy. Till next time, God first. God bless. Ah, oh, crap. I can't do that. Okay, okay. I got to time this right. Babe. Oh, she's asleep. Okay. Okay. So, usually... What? <laughs> I can hear you. Okay. What do you need to time? Huh? What do you need to time? Well, well, what I'm thinking of is, like, you know how I usually edit Daily Dose? So, I'll do my God first, God bless, right? And I'll... And, I'll, mm -hmm. and then, you know, I'll stop the video. And then I'll just cut out the part at the end. But I don't want to edit this. She fell back to sleep in the middle of me talking to her. Um, I'm stressing out. I don't know how to do this. Okay, I'm going to end it like... Whoosh, but I'll just keep my hand over it and then I'll end. Then I'll end. Okay, y'all be easy. Till next time. God first. God bless.